In this video, we're going to take a look at a kind of hidden feature inside of Microsoft Excel, but a very powerful feature. And this feature is custom lists. Now there's many different uses of a custom list, but what we're going to take a look at here is how we can create a specific order, a specific list that then sorts our data inside of Microsoft Excel. So let's jump into the exercise file and take a look at how to create custom lists. Now open in front of you, I've got an example file here. It's called Excel 102 uh, exercises.xlsx. It's an Excel file. And I'm currently looking at the buyer's 2015 worksheet. Now, sorting inside of a Microsoft Excel document, such as a list like this, is a very common task. I might do something like sort this by year, right? I want to be able to get all the 2015 records, then all the 2016 and 2017, and so on get all those records together in ascending order. Or maybe I wanna sort this by a buyer and do that alphabetically. Or I might wanna do it by month and get that to happen chronologically. So there's many different things that we might do here to sort this list and make it more manageable, easier to find data. Well, we might do something again, like sort it by month. So I could go up to my data tab, I can go into the sort button here, and inside my sort window, I'll say I wanna sort this by month, and I have an option here for order, where default, I can do things like sort it A to Z, or, or in descending order, do Z to A, right? But that's alphabetical, right? I get it August and then April, and or maybe no, it would be April then August, right? And, but it would do it alphabetically. Maybe I wanna get this chronologically. So inside of Excel, we have a feature called custom list. Now here, Built into every copy of Excel, ever since I can remember, you've got a handful of default custom lists that we can utilize to sort our data by. Now, in this case, we're looking at months. We've got two versions of the month here. We've got the abbreviated months and we got the full month name. Now, very important, the list that you pick here needs to match how you have your data in your list. In our case, we got full month names. So I'll select the full month names. I can see I got them all there and they're in chronological order, January, February, March, April, May, and so on. I hit okay. I can see I'm now sorting by that order. I'll hit okay. And I've now sorted it by chronological order by the month. Now that's pretty slick. It's not just default uh, ascending alphabetical order, but I've got it in chronological order. And like I mentioned, it's kind of a hidden feature. I've got to go all the way up into my sort command. I've got to get into the order, get into custom list, and I've got to go through the steps here. It's a few clicks in the mouse to be able to find this. But again, a very powerful feature. Without custom lists, I would just get the default alphabetical order, A to Z, Z to A, whatever. But through the use of a custom list, I can change and specify how the list should be sorted. Now, defaults again, we've got a few custom lists that are given to us. We've got days of the week and months, abbreviated and spelled out. Well, what if I wanna place my list into a specific order? Not just alphabetical, A to Z, Z to A, but put it in a specified order. Well, here I can create a new list, a list of my own. So as an example, let's cancel out of here for a moment. Looking at my list here, I wanna take the buyer and I wanna put that in a specific order. So if I just click into that column and I go back to my data tab and I just use one of my two buttons here, A to Z or Z to A, ascending or descending, it sorts it, but it sorts it alphabetically, which is great. And for the most part, that's probably what you want, right? I wanna sort names alphabetically or descending or ascending. But there's gonna come times where you have a value, whether it's names or something else, and you wanna put those in a very specific order. Here's where a custom list comes into play. So as an example, I wanna do something like, we got Smith, Reynolds, Gonzalez, and DeSoto. Okay? I wanna put those in a different order other than alphabetical. Maybe I want Reynolds to come first, and then I wanna do Gonzalez, and then I wanna do Smith and then DeSoto. I wanna put them in that specific order. Well, to do this, I'll go back to my data tab, into my big sort button, and here I'm gonna go down into the order, 
and I'm gonna change it into custom list. This opens up our custom list window. And from here, make sure, making sure that new list is selected, I'm gonna to go to list entries and I'll say Reynolds. Now, very important that we also spell them properly. Doesn't have to uppercase, lowercase, that's not gonna make a difference, but spelling them is definitely gonna, gonna matter here. So I think I got Reynolds there spelled properly. Okay, good. And then let's say I'm gonna do uh, Gonzalez. And I'm gonna drop down a line. I'm just hitting my enter key to drop down to the next line. I'll say Smith, Smith with the Y. And then we'll do the last one here. All right, so that's the order that I want my lists to sort within. It's not alphabetical, it's not ascending, descending, but that order right there. Perhaps you're weighing these options in some type of hierarchy, right? Maybe they're managers and coworkers or whatever it might be. I had, I had one, I went out to a live training out, out to an onsite. I was a clothing, clothing manufacturer and they had clothing sizes inside their list. They had things like small, extra small, large, medium, extra large, and so on, right? If we sort that data alphabetically, well, I'm not gonna get small first, right? Large would come before small. If I swapped it descending, they're all over the place. I want it to be in kind of more contextual sort here where we wanna say, well, small should come first or extra small should come first and then small and then medium and then large and then extra large and so on. I wanna put them in that specified order. So here I got a list of names. I'll hit the add button. I've now got my new list inside there. I'll hit okay again. And let's just make sure I'm sorting by buyer and I can see my new list right there. Now, pretty neat, if I click on the dropdown, they give me both an ascending and descending based on the list that I created. So I'm just gonna hit the first one, I'll hit okay. And I'm now sorting the list by that custom list. Okay. Like I mentioned again, kind of a hidden feature buried inside of Excel, few clicks to get to, but very, very powerful. Sort the list in a specified order based on a custom list. Make sure you try it out. You can download this file. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And also make sure if you're viewing this on YouTube, you can give me a thumbs up if you like the material and subscribe if you're interested in getting more videos like this on Microsoft Excel and other Microsoft applications.